Alright, hey guys, my name is Natalie Alfaro and the game I'm playing today is the New Zealand Story. So, um, basically, this game used to be an arcade game and it was created in 1988 by Tato, and it's only meant for one player. Um, the main goal in this game is to capture this female bird, which is his girlfriend, and you have to get her from the main enemy, which is Wally, a leopard seal. So basically it takes place in the zoo or just different locations in New Zealand. Um, and it's kind of like the first thing that I thought about when I played this game was Super Mario, just because it's a main character rescuing his girlfriend or like the love of his life. And also just the mechanics and structure of the game seem very similar. Um, so basically this bird is actually a kiwi bird which is the most popular type of bird in New Zealand. Um, so just the whole game itself is just a narration of New Zealand, the country. And you can see how there's like different animals in the background because it takes place in a zoo. And right here I'm trying to capture his girlfriend who was crying and I save her from that first round. But then after that you get to a different challenge every round and of course each one is more challenging um, so the main character has only a bow and arrow as his weapon, but as his enemies drop their own weapons, you can pick them up and use them for yourself. So as you saw in the last clip, um, I was able to use a bomb and use that, and then later on you will also see a gun that's being used. And also, you will see later that, see those floating devices being used by those enemies, you can actually, as long as you kill the enemy, and not pop or shoot the device, you can get on it yourself and actually just float as if you're one of them. Um, what I found interesting about this game was that at first it was very difficult. I think it was just the controls I wasn't used to or anything, but as you start playing it gets more and more fun for sure and every round just gets more exciting. But I found out that the easiest solution, as you'll see in the like later clips, is just trying to get away from them as fast as you can instead of killing them all first. Because they're just going to keep coming and coming and you're going to run out of, not run out of time, but just it's easier to just kill them all. Or just, it's easier to float around and move to where you need to go rather than staying behind and killing them. Um, so as you see... When you die on a floating device, you actually get basically an air balloon that you can float on. And here I am going to where I need to go, and the arrows indicate, of course, where you have to go to rescue your girlfriend. Um, and all the enemies are just weird animals and kind of cartoonish, like sometimes you can't really interpret what kind of animal they are. Um, but there I am and was able to rescue the girlfriend. And on to the next. So a fun fact that I was reading about, because I was trying to figure out what those fruits meant and why they turned into fruit and nothing else. And after doing research, it says that the kiwi bird eat mostly native fruits, but also leaves, flowers, and plants. Um, and they're actually the only living New Zealand bird that is able to swallow the largest seeds of our native trees, um, such as Tawa, Myro, Karaka, and Periri. And so that means that it's important because they're the only bird able to distribute these seeds. So I thought that was pretty interesting and it just shows a lot about the kiwi bird itself in just one game. I never thought you can get this much background information and culture about a country just from one game. Um, but so as you can see here in this round, things get a little bit more difficult. There's more restriction and you have to be careful where you're going. Um, and sometimes you gotta just pop your air balloon or floating device just to get to where you need to go because you can't always take it everywhere. Um, but one thing I did think about that I don't like about this game is that sometimes that when you restart after you die, um, they actually will put you either in... A weird spot or the same exact spot that you die and it'll be like right where an enemy 
is supposed to come out of so or like that's just where they are so you don't even have a chance of surviving you just come back and then you die right away because you were placed right where the enemy was you don't really get any free time to move or anything um but other than that i honestly really enjoy this game it kind of just brings back kind of like a childhood type arcade game or just super mario in general and i really enjoyed it and i hope you guys enjoyed it too